And uh, take care of yourself. Love that. <laughs> Motivation is bullshit. Of course. We're motivated to do the things we want to do, things that come natural to us, whatever that may be for you. So I was a psych major in college and learned early on that our minds are wired to keep us alive and not designed to do things that are scary, difficult, uncomfortable. It's designed to protect us and keep us alive. And it will try to stop you at all costs to do anything that may hurt you. So when my mom was diagnosed with cancer five years ago, it forced me to dive into a very uncomfortable place. My mom's battle with cancer and her mortality led me to think about life and questioning my own. I think when somebody really close to you is faced with death unexpectedly, it's natural to think about your own mortality. It was a generally a difficult time. We had just lost our home in the financial crisis. It was getting more difficult to make ends meet with our second child. And my marriage was rocky to say the least. Looking back, I was definitely in that mode called autopilot and pretty unhappy. So the news of my mom happened to coincide just a few months after my husband and I started a passion project called Food and Shit. It's a monthly Filipino pop-up dinner series in Seattle. I was still working at our local college as a counselor and advisor at the time, but the pop-ups were a fun side project that ended up bringing my husband and I closer together. We found ourselves in a creative project that we loved, but didn't think that would change our lives drastically. Yet it did. We were doing something that we enjoyed, something that made us feel alive, something that brought our communities together. And that simple decision to try something new, even if we didn't know it, where it was gonna take us, was the catalyst to opportunities we never knew we were, that was even possible to us just the year before. So we had put intentions out there, a simple yet powerful way to program our brains to achieve something that's scary and difficult, instead of shield us from it. One of those decisions was to open a bakery to wholesale our flagship ube cheesecake back in 2014. I was one decision away, one, from a totally different life. Our lives come down to our decisions. When you change your decisions, you change everything. I knew that quitting my job and starting a business was going to change my life, but I didn't know how it was gonna change me. I'm a first generation business owner in the United States, born in Alongapo, Philippines. I never went to business school nor culinary school. Heck, I never even worked at a restaurant or a bakery ever in my life. <laughs> I stopped counting the times I wanted to give up because I felt inadequate or I felt scared, but it wasn't motivation that got me to where I am today, where we're opening our second location. It was a culmination of decisions and persistence in those moments that don't come easy, where we find ourselves in the most uncomfortable of places. That is where you can see our full potential. And it's where I saw mine. So sisters, what is your next decision?